we got to collaborate. Each and every one of us have got to get together with our creativity. Whether it's newly born or it's something you've done for a long time, the only way we can get beyond this COVID-19, we've got to work together with our creativity. We've got to share. It's time to do it. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. If you can only see this studio, some people probably see a bunch of nothing. And yet everything inside this studio is worth something to my heart. We all have places like this. How do you protect yours? How do you know where to go when you have that moment of, oh boy. If you could just see this room. It's not pretty, but yet in my eyes, it's beautiful. This is where I go to create. This is where I'm called to build. There are so many things and items in this room that carry more weight than I even weigh. Where's your place? Your room? You know, that zone where you find your zen, where you know that when you step within, there's going to be something there that's going to say, welcome. If you could just see this room, there's memories in everything here. 99.9% of it should be in the trash can. But I just can't let go. This is my room. Or as I used to call it, the womb. W-O-M-B. The birth of creativity. Hey, it's Errol. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer. Every day, pen in the hand, paper, And you freeform think, you stream think, you just let it go, whatever's in that moment. And you can't judge it because that's part of freeform thinking is that you allow yourself to be a part of the universe. It's like being a seed in the wind. And some days there are a lot of gusts and other days it's like, oh boy, I think I'm laying here on a desert floor. Living in the presence of now means listening to what is going on now. This is the daily mess. The evolution of change without reverting back to the days and moments where change was actually the first step and the first seed. I want to say that again because I I don't want to trip or trigger you, but I know you're going through this. I know you are. The evolution of change without reverting back to the days and moments to where change was the first step and the first seed. My school teacher wife is working remotely today. That means she's in her studio in the other room. Now, here's the thing. Instantly, I have been sent backwards to March of 2020. Instantly, the COVID-19 lockdown has re-entered my soul. Instantly, I am reminded of the heavy anxiety that we both went through. Instantly, we were out of touch until we began to recognize the true reality. I just keep telling myself today, it's not 2020. I, I, I've had my vaccine, and she is fully vaccinated. We aren't in lockdown. Yes, there is enough toilet paper in the house. COVID-19 PTSD, and all that comes with it. I was with Dr. Jennifer Ashton from Good Morning America yesterday. You know what she said? Everybody has a situation, and most are wearing it, and it doesn't look well. Yeah, she's got a new book. It's called The New Normal. And in all honesty, it can easily fit into your sudden trips backwards. A spouse remotely working at home shouldn't be a trigger, nor should having dinner on the front porch, just like we did in March of 2020. Learning to recognize the effects of change starts with writing. Now, why would I bring that to you today? Why would I want to talk about the evolution of change without reverting back to the days and moments where change was the first step and the first seed? Because we're all being triggered, but not all of us are willing to talk about it. You can rewind this, and each time I say something, you can argue. You can rewind this, and each time I mention something you can relate with, you can say, Amen. Or you can say, Oh God, I've been there. We're not talking about it. So, if we're not talking about it, how are you hiding it? I mean, come on, Dr. Jennifer Ashton says, everybody, everybody, I think I see your name on the list. 
If you're not talking about it, how are you hiding it? Where are you placing it? Where are you allowing yourself to vent? Don't you just want to grab a pillow sometimes? Stuff your face into it and just scream. Just to release it. To go to a mountaintop to just scream. To just release it. Now, at almost 59 years old, I, I, I can't do that. I'll give you a couple of reasons why. Number one, I'm a voiceover actor. I can't just go out there and scream. I can't destroy my voice. And number two, if I just scream, you know what happens? That's a lot of energy that I may not get back for that day. Because we've already been weighed down by all the other days before this day. So, just to say, scream in whisper form releases a lot, a lot of pain without losing your voice and the energy. Let it out, because I know you're hiding it. Just let it out. I'm Errol, and that's The Daily Mess. <laughs>